don't go around beating yourself up. Why don't we beat ourselves up? You got a lot of people out there that are going to do it for you. I remember one time a lady was standing in line in a grocery store and, and she was putting her groceries up on the counter to be checked out with the, with the cashier. And she put up a quart of milk and a dozen of eggs and like a pound of bacon and she had some celery and things like that. And, and there was a drunk standing up in the back of her. And he said, hey lady, he said, uh, I bet you live alone. And she said, yeah. You know, and she looked at her groceries and said, how could he tell that by just looking at the groceries? And, you know, kind of amazed, you know, she said, you know, I, I do live alone. I'm not married, but how did you know that? He said, because you're ugly. <laughs> so there's enough of people out there that are going to beat us up without us beating ourselves up. You know, it's like I, I, working with people, you know, and, and with weight reduction. You know, and, and it, religiously they would come in and say, but Dr. Bauer, you know, I got on the scale and, oh, God, I felt terrible. I only lost two pounds, you know. I said, well, if, you, if the scale makes you feel terrible, why do you get on the scale? Give the scale to somebody you don't like. Let them feel terrible. But we keep beating ourselves up over and over. And then self-hatred comes in and we don't even realize it. 